What is going on? Be wise guy here, and I am coming with the 11th tutorial in the Rust tutorial installment series. Um, today's topic is arrays in Rust, so without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Like many programming languages, Rust has list types uh, to represent a sequence of things. The most basic is the array, a fixed size list of elements of the same type. By default, arrays are immutable. So I just read that straight out of the Rust book. Um, if you have been following along, that we read all of the um, content is read out of the Rust book to ensure the accuracy of these tutorials and also um, just to give us a real grounding and starting point that you can follow along with when you're not watching these tutorials. Okay, so as always, let's break down the uh, the sentence structures and stuff that they that we get provided in the book. Um, so basically, it's uh, what is an array? Let's let's just start with that. An array is simply a list of um, it's just like a shopping list, right? So you might like put five different things in your shopping list, and you can call that an array of of items in your shopping list. It's basically just a list. We'll, we'll keep it at that. It's just a list for now. In Rust, um, the uh, the uh, arrays are a fixed size. And by default, arrays are, arrays are immutable. So immutable means that it doesn't change. Mutable means mutatable. Um, if you think of a monster, the way I like to think of immutable and mutatable or uh, mutable is um, if you think of a monster, um, a monster likes to mutate and it gets all super gross and all sorts of stuff and it changes. Um, but generally people, um, although that we are technically immutable, I like, I like to think, think of it like a rock as immutable, right? A rock doesn't really change. Um, so we'll think of our rock as our immutable um, arrays and we'll think of of our, um, our monster, a monster kind of array as a mutable array. Anyway, let's get straight into some syntax here because we've got a lot to cover. Uh, just before we do, I just want to read one more thing out of the book. Um, arrays have uh, have bleh, arrays have type. Arrays have type T N. We'll talk about the t uh, this T notation in the generic section. Um, the T, uh, sorry, the N is a compile time constant for the length of the array. Uh, there's a shorthand for initializing each element in an array to the same value. In this example, uh, each element will be initialized to zero. So we'll go over that in, um, in just a moment. Um, and basically what it's talking about is there's a, there's a way to say, um, well, we're going to make 20 elements with, um, and they're all going to be initialized to the number 15 or whatever. Um, and we'll probably cover that either in this tutorial or in the next tutorial. All right, let's jump into some code here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new variable. So we'll say let a, and we'll say let a equal to uh, 1, 2, or 1, 3, 4, 7, 8, 12. Um, that'll, be, that'll be just fine. And we'll save that. And let's get our little warning going, saying we're not using it, and that's fine. All right, we'll say print ln, and we will print our array out. So we'll just save that right there. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, switch over to our other screen here. So um, that should have switched over for you guys. And we will cd into it. So we'll say uh, cd arrays in Rust. And we'll say cargo run. And sure enough, there we go. We get our array printed out onto the screen. We get 1, 3, 4, 7, 8, and 12. All right. So let's jump back over to our other screen over here. Okay, cool. So... Um, what I want to show you is basically um, this immutability versus mutability idea, and that's the first thing that the uh, that the book mentions. So what we're going to do here is we're going to learn about the um, the access uh, syntax, which is basically how do you access a single element in this array or in this shopping list, as we're going to call it. So let's call let's let's call a shopping list just so we give it some context here. So we'll see, call um, we'll call this shopping uh, that shopping list. All right. So let's say. I want to print out the number four in our shopping list. So how would I do just printing out the number four? Well, what I would do is I would say print, I would use our print line macro. So I'll say print ln and I would say, sorry, and I would say shopping list. And then I would say, well, it's, we're going to count something. So one, two, three. Okay. So I want to get the number four out. So I'm going to put the number, um, I'm going to put the number three here. Now, for those of you who are uh, privy to computer science, well, you're going to tell me straight away, mm, no, that's not going to work. And you'll be right. But first, I just want to show people who aren't really familiar with um, the, sorry, we're just going to put an underscore there to keep with Rust's, uh, you know, normal syntax. So we'll say Rust, uh, sorry, we'll say uh, shopping underscore list three, and we'll just save that to get rid of the issue. All right, so um, 
Let's go, let's head over back to our console. So we'll switch screens here and we'll say cargo run. And we've got the number seven. And you might be thinking if you're not very familiar with um, array accesses um, and the way that uh, I guess arrays are indexed in programming languages in general, you might be thinking, well, why didn't that work? That, that should make perfect sense. Well, the reason is because of this simple keyword. Um, in programming, we have what's called a zero index, meaning that all of our arrays and all lists and everything start with a zero index, meaning that if you have eight elements in an array, then um, element eight is element, sorry, element A is index seven, and um, basically position one is really position zero. So as you can see now, that would make more sense. So switching over back to our uh, programming screen here, we get one, three, four, and seven. Well, element three in this, if we go from zero, is actually... Uh, number three. So let's count that. So we'll say zero, one, two, three. All right. So let's change this to number two and we'll, we'll, let's see if we get our four back and let's save this and we'll switch back over and we'll say cargo run and sure enough, we get our number four back. All right. So let's say, let's say, hmm. All right. I want to change, I want to change that number four to, I don't know, let's change it to a 500, like a decent number, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna be buying lots of stuff today and we wanna buy 500, I don't know, noodles or whatever you're gonna buy. So we're gonna type in shopping list and we're gonna say position two, cause remember it's zero indexed. And we're gonna say equals and we're gonna make that equal to 500. Now, when I compile this, because I have a, um, because I'm using Atom with Rust format, it's gonna give me an error, but let's see what that error is. So I save that and I get a um, I get an error and you can see down the bottom here it says Rust error cannot assign to immutable indexed content shopping underscore list and then it's giving me this little um, dot dot which we'll explain in another tutorial um, and that's called array slicing um, but it's basically it's basically saying to me hey you're not allowed to do that now if you're paying attention earlier to the uh, to me reading the Rust book you'll know that I explained a topic called mutable versus immutable. Now, we haven't really covered too much about mutable, uh, mutability versus immutability in Rust, but by default, in Rust, arrays are immutable, which means they cannot be changed. That means that, the, that, means that anything in the array cannot be changed, it cannot be reassigned, um, and for those of you who are familiar with other programming languages, this is the equivalent to const. This is a const variable, meaning that nothing in the array can be changed. So, we, we, still, want this in, we still want this to work, don't we? So, what we have to do to make this actually work our code is we have to put the MUT keyword in there. Now what that does is it says, let a, let's create a mutable type of an array called shopping list with the current values of one, three, four, seven, eight, and 12. However, when I resave this and it compiles, you'll notice that the error goes away. That's because when our type is immutable, we are allowed, that's because when our type is mutable, sorry, we are allowed to reassign um, elements within our array to a new value. So as you can see, I have reassigned the uh, index uh, value of number two. So based on our zero index, that's position three, really, um, in normal terms. And I've given that a number of 500 now. So what we'll do is we'll print out our array twice and we'll see the change. So we'll say print ln and we'll call, we'll say shopping list. I want to print my shopping list out. And then we'll, we'll print it out again and we'll see the change. So we'll say print ln and we'll say shopping list. And we'll go ahead and we'll save that. And we'll switch back over to our uh, console screen right here. And we'll say cargo run. And as you can see right here, so we get one, three, four, seven, eight, twelve. And then the second time that we printed out because we changed it, we get one, three, five hundred, seven, eight, and twelve. Okay, so that's pretty much all there is to um, arrays. That's the basic array syntax. Um, in the next tutorial, we're going to be go I'm going to be breaking this up into a few tutorials. In the next tutorial, we're going to be going over um, initializing defaults um, and the sizes and sorry the types of um, initialization that you can do and the uh, and default initialization of an array um, and all those goodies. So stay tuned. Um, the next tutorial will be posted straight up with this one. I just wanted to break it down into, um, into manageable kind of uh, tutorials. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed. Peace.